Hey Capricorn, I hope you're well. In today's reading will be looking at whoever you're thinking about for the rest of the year. Aquarius, Taurus, yes, those are the signs, but do keep in mind, it is energy we are looking at. Signs don't really matter here. The overall stance, we have Queen of Wands, Four of Swords. This may be someone um, that you've been on again, off again with. You may be on a break. This person seems to be very focused on their independence. Perhaps going out. Queen of Wands is a very social energy. Let's clarify. Why is Queen of Wands here for this person's overall stance? Five of Wands. So there may be some drama around um, this person, which they're not wanting to be a part of. Four of Swords, they're taking a break. This may even be your energy, right? It is a general reading, but someone here is not wanting to participate in the conflict um, around them. There may even be jealous people here. Why is Four of Swords here? Queen of Swords, yeah, detaching. Um, keeping one's distance from those around them that want to create trouble here. In terms of you, whoever's on your mind, um, someone is feeling uh, very attracted to you. I see a lot of lust here with the Queen of Wands, the devil. So, so there is someone that's lusting after you. How this person is viewing you, Seven of Pentacles and Seven of Swords in reverse. They're viewing you as someone who feels that this is a waste of time, so you're avoiding them. You're not interested, is how this person is seeing you. Why Seven of Pentacles in reverse? Some of you felt this person was keeping secrets, so you distanced yourself. Yeah, High Priestess Star, um, you felt something was off, so you were listening to your intuition. And some of you, there is literally distance between the both of you. Seven, because Star can also be online, social media. Why is Seven of Swords in reverse here? King of Cups. Five of Cups. Some of you, there's two energies here that I'm picking up on. But whoever you're thinking about is viewing you as someone who's emotionally distant. You are coming through as the King of Cups, someone who's very loving, right? You have a good balance between your head and your heart. It's almost you're out of reach. Is someone viewing you online? Queen of Wands, the star, definitely can be. Especially if you're single, you may be getting a lot of attention from those around you. It's almost you're in the spotlight here, Capricorn. How this person will be feeling about you, we have Four of Cups upright, Nine of Wands in reverse. They may have a moon in Aquarius or moon in Cancer, but they're feeling very moody. Some of them, you may have rejected them or they're feeling rejected. And as a result, they're not fighting for this situation. In your oracle cards, I'm getting a lot of reference to drinks, drinking. Someone even may be drinking to get over you. Why is Four of Cups here? Why will this person... Yeah, this is someone who's single. They're not putting in the work but they're also stalking you. They're not communicating, but they're keeping a close eye on you. It's almost watching you from afar, Capricorn, is what is coming through. Why is Nine of Wands in reverse here? Yeah. Do you see how he's looking back at the cat? This person's wanting to message you, but there's fears getting in the way. It's almost giving up before they even try. For some of you, if it's a newer energy, they've been wanting to approach you, but they, they're afraid of your rejection here with the Four of Cups. So it's almost a secret admirer at this point. 
There may be two energies, Capricorn, for some of you. It is a gentle reading. I'm giving you all the scenarios because I see you turning your back to something here with the Eight of Cups. So it may be you're walking away from someone and there's a new love offer with the Knight of Cups. But it definitely can be that same energy. So listen to your intuition with this one. What this person's intentions are towards you, we have Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Temperance in reverse. Let's clarify. It's a very stuck, stagnant energy that this person is bringing. Why is Knight of Pentacles in reverse here for this person's intentions? Seven of Cups. Yeah, this person may have not been moving forward with you because they were keeping their options open or there's just confusion on how to proceed, right? Yeah, look at that. Chariot in reverse. Delays here. Some of you, there's distance and you couldn't travel towards each other because Sagittarius Temperance is also ninth house, right? Distance travel. Why is Temperance in reverse? Clarify Temperance in reverse for this person's intentions. This person's stuck on you regardless of what they're doing. Yeah, blockages in communication, um, being secretive, holding back Ace of Wands in reverse on this new start. Although they want it, they're coming through as moody. There may have been an argument or fallout in the past, and this person's being very stubborn with that night in reverse. But they will be back around. If you've had a fallout, someone wasn't willing to work or compromise on things. They're still obsessed. They're still stuck. Chariot in reverse. They're still looking back at you. Page of Wands. What action they'll take towards you? We have Six of Cups in reverse. The Devil upright. Clarify Six of Cups in reverse. They may be holding on to some sort of grudge or resentment. Something that happened in the past. Yeah. Justice in reverse. If they've done you wrong, they need to come towards you and make that apology, which I see in the outcome, Knight of Cups. Clarify Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, they're, they're strategizing. They're planning on how to come towards you, how to bring that offer to you, Page of Pentacles. Why is, whoa. Why is the devil here? for what action this person will take. Yeah, some of you, you were in a commitment with this person. There's something about a toxic environment here. Some of you, do you work with this person? I have a lot of reference to work as well uh, with one of your advice cards. So that may be why, right? You have to maintain some sort of distance. But this can talk about a toxic relationship why is the devil here for this person's actions? They're lusting. There's a lot of lust, physical attraction, desire to come together with you. Some of you, this is definitely a new person. Ace of Cups that wants to reunite and, you know, some passionate times here. There is a strong, intuitive, emotional bond. This is a connection that will be hard to break with the devil. We have High Priestess, Two of Cups. Not sure this person is the most expressive with their emotions, right? With the Four of Cups. Very few of you, you may be getting to know someone that's uh, going through a divorce. So that, that is why there's delays here with the temperance. But this person, they're not in balance. Justice in reverse. How you'll be feeling, we have Eight of Cups, Emperor in reverse. You're walking away from anything that isn't serving you. Some of you feel you have no control over the situation. Um, this person's not bringing you stability because we do have the Four in reverse. Or they throw you off balance. You never know where you stood with them. So you may be avoiding this. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Capricorn's feelings.
Yeah, maybe they were non-committal here in the past. So wands, two pentacles, blockages and communication. Some of you may even have blocked this person. Why is Emperor in reverse for how Capricorn will be feeling? Why is Emperor in reverse? Knight of Wands. Some of you are very work focused here as well. Nine of Cups in reverse. Lovers, and yeah, there's a fallout here. We have the Emperor in reverse. Emperor separate. Ten of Swords. There was a betrayal. Someone backstabbed you. And you've been working on yourself. Trying to regain your confidence. The situation was very emotionally draining. Which is why with the Eight of Cups you're moving away. This person may have been very rigid, stubborn. Unwilling to change. They were very set in their ways. They weren't taking responsibility for their actions. They were in and out. You never knew what to expect with them. Some of them could even be acting out like a player. Knight of Wands, the devil. But they're also someone who's jealous. This can be a jealous ex for some of you. For your outcome, we have Knight of Cups, Upright, Three of Cups, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. There's an offer coming your way in the outcome. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Capricorn's outcome. Clarify the Knight of Cups. Judgment. Some of you, um, this is a second chance. Someone is bringing uh, to you an apology. And we have in your oracle asking you out on a date. Yeah, definitely. You have an offer coming your way, Capricorn. I'm not sure you'll take it because we have the Knight of Cups walking into the Three of Cups in reverse. This is saying no to a second chance or no reconciliation. So free will at play here. Some of you will turn this down. And others of you will take this. Fool, Six, Seven of Cups. You'll be taking a risk. There's a lot going on in this reading, Capricorn. Some of you, you have a past person wanting a second chance with you, but you also have a new energy that is wanting to take a risk with you. Fool, Seven of Cups. You stand out. They want a new beginning with you. If that is the case, there's a lot of potential. Let me show you. So this may be something you've released from your past. Whoever your past was, that cycle is over. Ten of Wands, the world. You're releasing and you've cut off all contact. Magician in reverse. That's Mercury in reverse. You're not communicating with your past. That was a burden. It felt one-sided in the past. You've completed that cycle and you're embarking on a new adventure here with someone new, right? Fool, Seven of Cups. So you'll have a decision to make is what I'm getting. Bottom deck energy for your advice. We have communication. Take a chance. Mature man. So this mature man can be your energy Capricorn or someone you're attracting. They're described as hardworking, skilled with their hands, physically active, loves being outdoors, is very considerate and trustworthy. So they're saying communicate, take a chance with whoever this is. And I see you doing that. Fool, Seven of Cups. It's almost leaping into the unknown, right? There's confusion. You don't know what will happen, but it's saying yes to this offer. Knight of Cups is what I'm seeing for you. Okay, so we have apology here. I'm seeing synchronicities, which is crazy. We have, please accept my apology for not doing the right thing. Whoever this was, Justice in Reverse, is also feeling apologetic. They're wanting to apologize. They want a second chance judgment. We have drinking. Let's meet for drinks to loosen up the mood. Yeah. Look, Seven Cups. It's almost bar situation. She's choosing a drink. And we had this in their feelings, the Four of Cups. It's almost seated, right? Their drinks. So yeah, definitely. Someone's inviting you out, asking you out on a date. And look, two different decks. I would like to get a drink with you. 
Very few of you with the devil, four of cups, there may be some addictions here. Too much drinking, but that won't be for everyone. The main message is someone's wanting to apologize and take you out for drinks, um, meet up, right? And others of you, a new love offer. Number 32 is coming through. That may hold some significance. Your family may not approve of me. That can be Ten of Pentacles. Someone may be out of your comfort zone. There may be some differences here. Why they feel your family may not approve of them. I'm not sure what that's about. It talks about differences. Because in this person's intentions, they were saying temperance in reverse. Temperance in reverse is when we're saying we're not on the same page. There's differences. There's two energies for a lot of you. A past and a new. And you're leaping to, you're, you're more inclined to go for the new. We have collaboration as your advice. Accept any support or assistance that is offered to you as working in a partnership or as a team will be very beneficial now. Consider joining a group. Some of you, you can be creative doing something online, social media. If someone reaches out to collaborate, they're saying go for it. Take calculated risks. It may be beneficial for your business. Others of you, it can be saying yes to this offer, right? So whoever this is asking you out on a date. We have business, business affair. Mixing business with pleasure can be risky. Hold off for now and focus on building your career and finances. The universe will show the way. Um, this can be for those of you that you're meeting someone at work and they're saying, you know, be careful of workplace romance. Let's get one more for you, Capricorn. What advice do you have for Tevald? And this was a family situation, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. What advice do you have for Capricorn? Speak up. Someone is not expressing their true feelings. This person isn't. Problems would get solved and your love life would get easier if both of you were open and honest. Perhaps you've been quiet as well. So they do want you to express yourself. Look, I was telling you, love offer and kiss of love. You have a new love offer on the horizon. Your lover's soul met your soul through a kiss. They're yours forever. Don't worry, their soul will find their way back to you. They still feel you. Some of you past person, others of you kiss of love, new person. And look what we have at the bottom of this deck. Kiss. Kiss of love, kiss. Yes, Capricorn, that is what I have for you. You have some exciting changes, blessings coming towards you, especially in regards to your love life. Yes, Capricorn, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself. I'll see you next week. Bye.